Hey kids, it's me, Alex, from Madagascar. Welcome to our world of polysemy. Today we're gonna learn polysemy with us in Madagascar. Hey kids, I'm Alex the Lion. And I'm Gloria the Hippo. And we're going to bring you through a journey in the world of polysemy. Hey hey, before we begin, I'm feeling kind of hungry. Is it lunch time yet? What time is it? Look at the hand and figure it out yourself, Alex. What hand? My hand? No, the hand of the clock. Hey, what's the commotion about? Oh, hey, Millman. I didn't know you were here. Well, well, I heard a commotion. What was it all about? Well, I was asking Gloria for the time and she asked me to look at my hand. I didn't know my hand can tell the time. I wasn't referring to your hand. I was referring to the hand of the clock. You mean clock have hands? And you mean that hands has many meanings? Alex, the word hand does not only refer to your hands. It can refer to many other things. Oh, Alex, let me show you what I mean. Now, when you mentioned my hand, you are actually referring to a different type of hand. Now kids, what do you think Alex was referring to? That's right! Alex was actually referring to the hand which is a part of his body at the end of the arm which is used for holding, moving, touching and feeling things. There you go, look at the picture here. This is what he was referring to. Now, what do you think I was referring to when I said, no, the hand of the clock? You got it right. What I was actually referring to was the long thin pieces that points to the numbers of a clock or a watch. Yeah, this is what I was referring to, Alex. So you can see, the word hand has two meanings here. Now one refers to the body part which we may use to point and the other will refer to the pieces of a clock which is used to point to the time. As you can see children, hand has the same form but it has multiple meanings. Now when we have the same form of word with multiple meanings that are related, it is called polysemy. Oh, I remember. Well, in Greek, poly means many and semi means many. And together, polysemy means many meaning. Is that right, Gloria? Yeah, you got it right. So a word is considered polysemous if it has the same form as in same spelling and it has meanings which are related. So polysemy is the same word which has many related meanings. You got it right, Alex. So polysemy is the same word which has many related meanings. What do you mean related? Well, related in terms of function, structure, and location. As long as it's related either by function, or structure, or location, the word is considered polysemous. It does not have to be related by all three aspects. It can take either one or two aspects. Let's take for instance your hand. Your hand refers to the part of your body which may point to objects. And the hand of a clock is a part of a clock which points to the time. Here, they have similar function. So in this case, the function is similar, hence they would be polysemous with related meanings. They would be polysemous. Oh, I get it. How about the structure of my hand? Are they related? Oh, yes, of course. Your hand is long and so is the hand of a clock. In terms of structure, it is thus related. Hmm, 
How about being related in terms of location, Gloria? Well, here your hand is not really related in terms of location with the hands of a clock. But I can give you another example. Let's take a look at these pictures. Now, what is a head? A head is the top part of our body. But look at the head of a nail, a hammer, or even the head of a page. Oh, I know, I know. They are all at the top. And that is being related by location. Yeah, you got it right. So, the word head is polysemous because it is related in terms of location. The head of our body is at the top and so is the head of a nail and the head of a hammer and also the head of the page. That's right, Alex. You see, many examples of our body parts are polysemous. Now let's explore body parts and see in what way are they polysemous. Hey, okay, but before that, Alex, let's move our body. <laughs> we gotta move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. Yeah, I like to move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. Yeah, I like to move it. I like to move it, move it. You like to move it, move it. She like to move. Original King Julian, what a case, man! I love how all the girls they love to move their body. When you move your body, you know move it nice and sweet and sassy. 